Hi, Dr. Sassy here from Sassy Surgical. A number of people have asked about uh, what if my gastric bypass failed? Do I have any options? And uh, the, the short answer is yes, most definitely you have some excellent options today. Um, I'm gonna just start by reframing this question a little bit. Um, and at the end, I'm gonna come back and give you the three most important things that you need to do if you think you've had a failed gastric bypass. But let me start by describing that I don't think it's necessarily a failure. First of all, I want to make sure you know that it's not you failing. You should definitely not feel as though you have failed. Um, this whole problem of obesity and all the health problems that come along with it, especially type 2 diabetes, is really the result of an intersection between these environmental conditions that we're all surrounded by and our genetics. Think of it like some complex hip fracture that was repaired once, but you were told, hey, this might not last forever and it might need to be revised again. Uh, that's true, especially today with this uh, complex metabolic disease that we're all facing. For many years, we struggled in the field to try to come up with the best answer. How do we revise a gastric bypass to reinitiate that weight loss success and, and create success at reversing type 2 diabetes all over again? And a lot of things were tried, and I'll just summarize by saying a lot of them have worked in a very mediocre way. In particular, all the ones that have focused solely on restriction, that is just tightening the stomach pouch by re-sewing it or uh, internal suturing or banding around it, those have been mediocre. And I'm uh, especially cautious about uh, recommending them because a lot of times the insurance plans won't cover it and you may get a mediocre result. So you want to make sure that your hard-earned dollars are not being spent in a way that won't give the biggest possible return. Doesn't mean there aren't a few people who can benefit, but they aren't the big winners. And then at the other end of the spectrum have been big complex operations with open surgery to untangle the gastric bypass and change it to a duodenal switch. Well, this makes some sense, but it also has been uh, notorious for also having some complications and being kind of a big surgery. In fact, some centers will do it, but in stages in order to try to minimize the impact on the body and avoid complications. But in recent years, we've seen good studies in 2019 and 2020 that have shown excellent results with a procedure that takes advantage of the science of duodenal switch, meaning the best sort of hormonal mechanisms that reset body weight set point and reverse the elevated blood sugars but don't require the big invasive surgery. So sometimes this is referred to as distillization, sometimes it's referred to as um, changing or revising the, the Ruin Y, uh, relocating the BP limb or the biliopancreatic limb. All of these terms are basically referring to a new way for us to configure the Y of the Ruin Y, where we make a much longer biliopancreatic limb, because that seems to be where the real hormonal action is. That's where the biochemistry really changes and we really see the kind of reigniting of that weight loss and the real reset of the body weight set point. So we've had great success with that as a revision procedure that is A, both minimally invasive, so very safe, very few complications and side effects, but B, highly effective, kind of in the 90% ballpark for people having a big jump start to their weight loss success with very few side effects. So is there an answer if you've had a failed gastric bypass? Yes, I think the answer is yes. And so what were the three most important things I think you need to know? The first one is don't blame yourself. This is not your fault, absolutely not. This is the environment we live in hijacking your metabolism. The second one is not to lose hope because a lot of times people kind of give up on the idea and think that there isn't another option for me. I, I failed at gastric bypass. There's nothing for me to do next. That's not true. Nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, don't lose hope, don't give up. There's always gonna be a better solution and technology keeps evolving. Right now we have some excellent solutions if you had a standard Ruin Y gastric bypass. Um, and third, take a look at the science that is out there about that revision, that biliopancreatic limb or that distillization, all of those terms. Uh, take a look at our literature. You can go to um, revisionbariatric.com, for example, and you can see uh, we have a, a long uh, free report that describes a lot of this information and summarizes a lot of the science. Or you can look at it at sassysurgical.com, too. Um, but the, the bottom line is there are excellent solutions, and you can access that science and the kind of the crystallization of those uh, findings uh, through those mechanisms and, and searching yourself online. But don't lose hope, hang in there, keep striving for a healthier, positive future, aim at reversing that type 2 diabetes and get to a healthier weight. I wish you great success.